Okay, thank you, uh, Councilwoman Jackson. Councilman Gary. No, and I definitely appreciate those comments from Councilwoman Jackson. I'd say, you know, and, and you said this a little bit later on, uh, but I heard it earlier. And so I, I want to remind everyone that we are the ones that appoint the folks, uh, not the residents, right? Uh, if the residents want to give input, they can. If the residents want to ask us about their decision, they're more than happy to, right? Um, we're here, we can respond to them. Um, the other thing too, in terms of education, well, if I had applied to BFAC and the Budget and Fiscal Affairs Advisory Committee, and I don't have an economic background, but I've been following the budget very closely, um, and my degrees in literature, um, but I still outreach to all the council members and show them that I was qualified to do this and that I had the capacity, then again, what is my education if I have a degree in literature have anything to do with budget and fiscal affairs? So, um, I mean, to that, I, I, you know, I don't agree. Mr. Mayor. Okay. It's just I put in. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I think to just refocus us, the question here is not whether um, someone qualification should be taken into account. As Councilman Aguirre eloquently noted, that is a decision for the council to make. Uh, this is information that is, a, well, it's information in the sense that Councilman Aguirre already conceded that it's available uh, to the public. So the main question here, and I think this is what Councilman um, Chapman brought this issue forth, is transparency based on a request by constituents. Now, when we talk about transparency, we are a government and government does not operate in secrecy. To put basic information such as someone's education or um, background as to employment or things like that are within the purview of the public interest in knowing who and what is applying. Uh, the decision is for council to make. Uh, council gets the full unredacted in information anyway, so they're not harmed in any way in making that decision. So I think I may defer to the city attorney to kind of jump in here and to us the, um, the information that we can put out there or we cannot, because I think that's ultimately the question. <laughs> 